people of the world, allow me to introduce myself as anonymous, and only as anonymous for I am nothing more than an idea. An idea of a free world, void of oppression. Void of poverty and murder by the hand of tyrannical rule. Void of hopelessness and genocide. A world where the true purpose and priority in life is to live freely and without restraint by corrupted regimes. This is the second address in a series. If you have not made yourself familiar with the current course of actions, please direct yourself to the following video prompted by the link on your screen now. You may be asking yourself what Anonymous is about after hearing the rumors and blatant lies the media has associated with Anonymous. Allow me to simply inform you that Anonymous is and or are not terrorists much like the powers that be would have you believe. Anonymous has been demonized by these regimes simply because we have brought justice to the oppressed. When freedom is jeopardized, Anonymous will avenge the oppressed. We do not forgive. We do not forget. We are many. And for the record, Anonymous was not behind the PlayStation Network fiasco. Game on. We have defended members of WikiLeaks when they were persecuted for releasing information that provided evidence to the corruption within our government and militaries. We restored the internet to the people of Egypt when the Egyptian government tried to silence their voice to the world. We have defended and supported countless peoples in their pursuits for freedom. And now we will assist in the bigger struggle. It is time to rejuvenate the human spirit. Allow me to elaborate on the previous video to eliminate any misunderstandings. We are issuing a calling to all cyber warriors to join with us as we turn the tables on the regimes who are oppressing their people across the globe. At this very moment, courses of action are being taken to restrict the voice of the net. The net is the last bastion of true freedom for the human race. We have begun sharing our stories and all the gritty details with one another no matter where we may be on this planet. This is worrisome for those who seek to control us they want us silenced, and this is the final straw. Digital supremacy will be the selective targeting of all organizations guilty of treason against the people, guilty of restraint from freedom. Any party who has violated and continues to violate the will of the people and the voice of true freedom will become a priority for a cyber assault unlike anything this world has witnessed. It is the duty of the rest of the people to continue their pursuits for these freedoms by any means necessary. It is time to escalate your actions of spreading the word and reaching out to our neighbors and communities. Protests must become more frequent and grow in strength and size. Peace is our priority, but resistance will be met with a fierce and sharp defensive. Our voice and cause is our weapon. Our vigilance is our offensive. Begin your flyer campaigns, protests, art, music, literature, and video campaigns now. Paint the walls in every city. Banksy, this means you, my friend. Gather the street artists as a new canvas has been laid out before you. The time for evolved tactics has begun. The resistance is here. As the voices are attempted to be silenced by the oppressors, the guardians will be here to shut down these priorities and turn the tables on the digital landscape. Through this physical resistance we will grow stronger as our friends maintain the defensive on the digital realm. We are one. We are many, we are the resistance. Freedom begins now.